Two days ago, Peter Obi came out to accuse the federal government of incompetence because how do you allow the national grid to collapse two times in 24 hours? Nigeria experienced blackouts all through the nation as a result of a national grid collapse. But it's surprising to see that the federal government, through Tenobo's minister, is saying that the national grid did not collapse and they are ready to reveal to us the cause of a national blackout. We'll get to find that out in a bit. But before we do that, before we go into the details, if this is your first time here, you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Like this video. Please leave your opinions in the comment section. Most importantly, help us click on the like button. Very important. That is the only way you can show support and encourage us. The Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, has dismissed reports that the national grid collapsed two times within 24 hours stressing that there was only a trip off. Newsroom Nigeria reports that the power grid collapsed again on Tuesday amid restoration efforts following the initial collapse on Monday evening. Speaking to The Punch, Adelabo said what occurred was a line tripping in certain quarters in the country. He said there was no grid collapse, there was a trip off. When we talk of grid collapse, it will involve 100% of our grid infrastructure. But this was a line tripping in certain quarters in the country. Even the major centers were not affected. Talk of Abuja, Lagos, and Ibadan. And this was even restored within two hours. Let me tell you, grid disturbances are global. We are talking about electrical connections. There could be tripping off due to weather, due to the dilapidation of some infrastructure. What matters most is what is your rate of response to fix this. We responded swiftly and within two hours we brought it back and it's working now, so it's no big deal. Meanwhile, the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TUC, has stated that it would investigate the cause of a multiple power grid collapses that occurred on Monday and Tuesday. TCN spokesperson Indide Umba explained in a statement that although the recovery of a grid commenced immediately with Azura Power Station providing the black stats, grid recovery reached advanced stages at about 10.24 a.m. on Tuesday when it encountered a, cha a challenge that caused a slight setback in the recovery process. The slight setback notwithstanding, TCN continued with the grid recovery process, which has reached an advanced stage, ensuring bulk power availability to about 90% of its substations nationwide. Supply has been restored to the Abuja Axis and other major distribution load centers nationwide, she disclosed, even as many areas were still in darkness as of 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Mumbai explained that the partial disturbance did not affect the Ibong gas generating station, which was islanded from the grid yesterday and continue to supply areas in the south-southern part of a country, such as Eket, Ekim, Uyo, and Itu, 132 kV transmission substations during the period. Investigation into the cause of the incident will be carried out as soon as the grid is fully restored, she noted. So you people have not done your investigation and you already came to the conclusion that it wasn't a collapse. It was just a, a grid trip off, according to the Minister of Power. You all let me have your thoughts in the comment section. But I just want to say kudos to the, the Minister of Sports or the federal government for their swift response. Let's not deny. I'm just being objective here because in the past, it would take hours upon hours, more than 24 hours at least, to restore the power grid collapse. But in this situation, it was swiftly recovered. I did not even know that we we're going to have lights. 
up to up until this morning i thought oh it's a national grid collapse it's going to take a while but to my surprise we had lights yesterday and which it says a lot it means that they were able to swing into action very swiftly you know to start the recover the recovery process whether it is trip trip off or it's a collapse we or is a collapse we know for sure that most parts of a country experience blackouts during the period before we go guys let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online from prince it say tip off collapse what's all this madness are you guys not tired of joking with us by the way i don't even know if thrive fund is still paying everybody is talking about it I saw it here on the on the on the news channel a few days ago. I don't know if it's late for me to join. Hmm. Um, let's take another comment from Toby. There is no hiding place in this issue. National grid collapse because up to this moment, we've not seen supply for three days now. I don't know why this government is full of lies. Something happened, you are denying. And this is what we felt. I'm very sorry for them. Ade Jukbe Ademola says, A trip off. This is over 48 hours of black out in Ikeja. A very big shame. Abiodun Williams, What is the difference between trip off and collapse? Look at the person who wants to govern Oyo State. Very inefficient minister. Jude Unda Eyo says, There was nothing like nationwide blackouts in my area. We had lights. He caught Ekmene in Akwa Ibom State. So probably your area is one of those areas that, according to the Minister of Power, was not affected. According to him, he said not all areas were accept affected. It was just, you know, selected areas. Ebo says, please hold your excuses because this government has never told its citizens truth for once. Lastly, the last comment from God is great. The report of the minister is different from the TCN. It means the minister is not hands on. So ministers like this, one should be, they should be sacked. You or what are your thoughts? Please let's have them in the comment section below. How, even before the power the power grid collapse how has been the electricity supply in your area has it been constant because in my area for one i would say because i was just even discussing with somebody yesterday i was saying how i was talking about how the electricity electricity supply in nigeria have seemed to improve in my area especially i feel like it has really improved since you know uh Tinobu came into office and you know, you guys remember when they were saying that uh, we should pay more for NEPA fees so that we can get more power supply. And then they also stopped the the uh, the exportation of electricity to uh, countries like Benin Republic and so on. I don't know if we still export our electricity because back then we export electricity to those little, little countries around us and they enjoy more electricity supply. In fact, there was a time that they celebrated a year, a year of uninterrupted electricity supply. And we that we are supplying power to them, we cannot even boast of 24 hours of uninterrupted electricity supply. What do you guys think at the moment? How would you rate you know, the the electricity electricity supply in your area has in been, you know, constant. One to hundred. Let me know your ratings. Let me have your ratings in the comment section below. Thank you very much, you all, for always listening and watching. This is where I'm going to draw the curtain for now, guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.